Hello my friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. As I discussed with you sometime back on our channel's community tab that uh, I'm trying to write a small script uh, which can go ahead and clean all the resources from your AWS account which actually cost you money. Now, uh, I don't know about your experience but it has happened to me multiple times that uh, while we are experimenting or when we are doing things sometimes in a classroom or sometimes in an organization uh, you know in our sandbox environments people go ahead and create a lot of resources in the account in different regions for example there might be many ec2 instances running in region one a lot of load balancers and other things like this right and it becomes very difficult for us to go ahead and actually uh, try and get rid of all the resources because you need to go to each and every region and then you need to you know uh, look at all the resources go ahead and delete them uh, and while we are doing that uh, it also becomes very important to understand the relationship between them you know the dependency that also becomes very important so it is uh, uh, it's important that while we are deleting or terminating those resources we do it in the right order okay so uh, in order to do that in an automated manner i thought of writing a lambda function which we can go ahead and execute once and what that lambda function would do is it would go ahead and uh, basically scan the account uh, it will go ahead and scan your account in all the regions one by one and in every region it will go ahead and try to check for the resources and all the resources it will delete one by one okay so i i will go ahead and show you the code try to explain you a bit uh, some of you if you are um, if you are uh, trying to get started uh, with python uh, okay with python it will help you so uh, understand that intention is not to teach you programming via this tutorial uh, my intention to is to help you understand that how can you go ahead and refer the documentation look for a fun look for a particular function to do a thing understand that what parameter should be passed right and then how you should be able to do it so i'll give you some idea of that i'll also explain you that how for some of the resources the uh, the apis are actually grouped okay so let us go ahead and get started first i will first i would like to show you that uh, how we are having a lot of resources running in the account so what i've done is i've gone ahead and created a lot of resources in different uh, regions so i i just picked two regions north virginia which is us east one and uh, basically canada central which is ca central one right so in both of these regions i've gone ahead and created a lot of resources so for example load balancer is running in both of them you can see you can also see that i've created an auto scaling group in both of them which which has launched instances right so auto scaling group has like two instances running in this region it has three instances running in this region also if you go and overall you will see in uh, canada central there are lot of instances running there so there are certain instances which are running because of auto scaling group some more are launched manually as well so there are totally six which are running here and here if you see there are totally five instances which are running in north virginia which is us east one uh, if we go ahead and see uh, there are ebs volumes as well a lot of ebs volumes some of them are attached to the ec2 instances some of them are not right so uh, this is the scenario which happens many times so some of the uh, some of the times what happens is we go ahead and and terminate our ec2 instances but some of the volumes are left behind maybe we detached a volume or it was a it was a secondary uh, ebs volume for which uh, you know uh, delete on ec2 termination that particular flag was false if that was the case what happens is when your ec2 gets terminated that secondary volumes remain there remains there right the secondary volume would remain there right so that will unnecessarily cost you money so i've tried to just create that scenario here and same way uh, for your canada uh, central region as well so as you as you saw there are a lot of these things okay um uh, i also want to show you uh, uh, i also want to show you nat gateway okay 
if you see now on the screen uh, in Canada Central we have a NAT gateway in place it is just getting started in the same way in US East 1 North Virginia as well we have a NAT gateway in place the the the, the reason why I took why I took uh, a NAT gateway as well is that uh, in any of our exercises or experimentation or while we are learning it happens many times that we set up VPC and we, we you know we put private instances and public instances now in order to actually ensure that your private instances are able to talk to internet you you do put NAT gateway and understand that NAT gateway costs right so uh, we should not miss on terminating it if you are not if you are if you are not using it actively so that's why I thought of including that as well so now now that we have seen what all resources are running let us go ahead and spend some time on our function which we have written so i hope that uh, that you know how to write a lambda function i have done another video where i explained various parts and everything so i'm not going to talk about different sections of this uh, of this lambda function or the editor and everything you can refer that particular video in this one i'm going to explain you the logic which we have, which we have written so i have just named the function as clean it all okay and within that now there is one uh, python uh, file dot py i have named it as clean it and within this file if you see uh, the 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 main function or basically the function from where the execution starts uh, we have named it lambda handler that is normally how uh, you know it is done uh, I mean, of course, you can keep any other name as well. So, in in this particular text box, you need to specify your file name dot function name, right? So, from this particular function, the execution would start. Now, let us go ahead and try to understand that what are we doing here. So, first of all, uh, as I told you, this particular Lambda function, what it would do is it would go to each and every region. And in every region, it will go ahead and scan for resources and it will go ahead and delete the delete the resources so of course there are a lot of loops written inside which i'm going to show you four loops are written and uh, so let, let's understand that uh, how does it uh, go with every region so first of all we are creating a client for ec2 so boto3 is the library for python which is used so we are creating a client for that and then we are trying to extract all the regions right so if you see describe regions ec2 dot describe regions you can actually look at the documentation of this let me show you if you want you can uh, just search boto3 documentation you'll get this link so in this um, if you go on the left hand side you can look at ec2 currently this auto scaling is open so i'll just go ahead and open ec2 so in ec2 if you see um, uh, our function was uh, our function was describe regions correct so you can go ahead and just check it just do a control F describe regions so you all the functions are written here you can just go ahead and look at it it tells that it will give all the regions to you so the you know how should you call that function that is also given and when uh, when you call that function in what way the response would be what would be the structure of response of course it would be json so what would be the structure of response that also is given here so as you can see in the form of regions you will get all the different uh, you know uh, region names you will be getting and this will be the outer outer array actually so uh, that is what uh, we are capturing here so if you see ec2. Uh, dot describe uh, ec2 dot describe regions dot get regions within that all the regions we are going to take that in an array and then we are going to loop within that uh, while we are looping so first one particular region it will get inside and as you can see it just a variable is being assigned the first particular region name so how do you get this particular thing if you if you refer the documentation if you uh, see here uh, this is the attribute right which it is returning so um, and it would be of type string of course so for example let's say whatever would whatever would be the first region let's say for example if it is us east one so us east one would become the value here right now that's all now within now as we move forward you will see i have tried to go through different resources let me first show you that what order have i kept first one is uh, auto scaling groups 
so first of all i am trying to delete auto scaling groups so that with auto scaling groups all the in ec2 instances which are created because of that those instances would also go away if i don't do that and i go ahead and first delete ec2 instances for example what would happen is auto scale auto scaling group will detect that and it will launch the instances again that's why i'm first choosing to delete the auto scaling group okay uh, and then i'm gonna delete load balances uh, so all the load balances will go away i'll just come back to this uh, i'm also deleting target groups within that right I'll, I'll come to it in detail within vpcs the thing which costs us is nat gateways so i'm deleting all the nat gateways as well then within that region we'll go to ec2 and ebs so after that we'll go and we'll delete any remaining ec2 instances that means those ec2 instances which we have launched manually those will also go away and in case there are any ebs volumes left behind meaning those uh, if you if you see here if I go ahead and delete all the EC2 instances in this particular region, these five volumes will go away, right? Because they are attached to that EC2, to, to those five EC2 instances, they are the root volumes. But these two additional volumes, which are just, you know, not attached to an EC2 instance, those ins uh, volumes will not get deleted. So that's why we are also going ahead and deleting all the EBS volumes after that. Okay, so this is the order. Now, let me just quickly explain you a few more things. So what we are doing is, uh, you, uh, I also need to tell you uh, in terms of permission. Of course, your Lambda function is going to execute a lot of, uh, lot of uh, actions uh, against EC2, auto scaling and all. So what are permissions are given to this particular Lambda function? This Lambda function uh, has assumed a role, of course, as, as I have explained you in previous video as well. And what all permissions have I given to that particular role? Uh, EC2 full access, auto scaling full access. So you understand that in terms of um, um, the, the way the way whole API has been structured is if you see within EC2, let me take it up and show you. Within EC2, you get uh, VPC, you also get um, uh, you also get uh, load balances. Uh, where are the load balances? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I think no. Uh, load balances is a is is a different one. I'll show you here on the left hand side. Here it is. Elastic load balancing and elastic load balancing V2. I'll explain you the difference between the two. So in EC2, you will get all the EC2 related stuff. EBS volume related stuff, VPC related stuff, you will get within this. So, uh, if you see here, for the, um, you know, so f that's for the EC2, if you, uh, I'm sorry for jumbling it up. Uh, if you will see for EC2, we are creating uh, a client of, client for EC2. Whereas uh, for load balances, we will be creating client for ELB V2 or ELB. So as I was explaining you here, for load balancers, there are two things, EL, elastic load balancing and elastic load balancing version two. Elastic load balancing is used for all the, for all the classic load balancers, the older one, okay? Whereas uh, ELB V2, uh, whereas ELB V2 would be used for application load balancer and network load balancer. So as all of you know that uh, going forward, the classic, load balancer is getting, uh, you know, going out of fashion or after some time it won't be there. So mostly we will be using ELB V2, but it is still better because currently it is available. So what I've done is I have written a delete for both uh, ELB and ELB V2 both. So that if I have any classic load balancer, application load balancer or network load balancer, everything goes away. Okay. In the same way for auto scaling, you can go ahead and create a client for you know, for auto scaling thing. Uh, in terms of permission, as I was showing you, if you give EC2 full access, within this EC2 full access, if you see, you will be giving for load balancing, you will be giving for EC2, you will also be giving for VPC, if I remember correctly, where is VPC? Yeah, actually EC2 colon star covers, uh, covers all, all VPC thing, 
right because create vpc and everything create vpc or you know anything related to those vpc actions they come within this all right and uh, for auto with auto scaling full access you have allowed to basically do all the auto scaling related things so that's all in terms of permission now let us spend few minutes here uh, what i've done is let's pick any one uh, in case of auto scaling group so I've just created a client for auto scaling group. And while I did that, see, I have passed region name is equal to reg reg. So that's basically when the first iteration of this particular for loop is happening, what would happen? Let's say, for example, if it is US East one. So for US East one, we will be uh, or for US East one, we'll get access to all the auto scaling groups, right? And in the next iteration, it would be some other region and so on. Right. So after that, uh, we have called this function describe auto scaling groups. This will actually return all the auto scaling groups which are there in, for ex which are there in North Virginia or US East one, for example. So that will go into this result, and then we'll go ahead and loop this particular array. What we'll do? We have just taken a variable called ASG1. We'll loop and we'll say within this the auto scaling groups which are there in that we will go ahead and try to delete. Right, so uh, before deleting, I'm also printing the name of that auto scaling group, and then I'm in order to delete auto scaling group, the function is uh, delete auto scaling group. So I'm saying client as dot delete auto scaling group, and what should I pass? I need to pass the name of the auto scaling group. So that's what I'm passing here. Um, you see, auto scaling group name is equal to asg, which is the variable with which I'm looping here, asg within that auto scaling group name. Now in this, if you go further, there is something called force delete, which I, which I need to pass. Why is it so? Because normally delete auto scaling group function, uh, if you don't give force delete, it will, it will delete only, it will delete the auto scaling group only if it is not having any instance uh, currently within that, right? But but we don't want to be in that situation. Even if my auto scaling group has got two or three instances in place, I would want it to get rid of that auto scaling group and all the EC2 instances as well. So that's why I'm doing force delete. All right, that uh, then further going to this thing, if you see um, uh, in, in terms of load balances. So in load balances, as I told you, uh, ELB V2 for NLB and ALB and ELB for classic uh, load balancer uh, just quickly uh, i will not take a lot of time here if you see here delete load balancer is the function but you need to understand that in elb v2 it is load balancers arn which is taken as the as the parameter to this function whereas in the older one in the elb one uh, it was load balancer name right so accordingly wh whatever attribute is expected you should be passing the correct value for that so that's why in the in the uh, for elb v2 i am giving lb1 load balancer arn whereas for uh, elb i am giving lb1 load balancer name okay so uh, you can actually look at these signatures uh, there is nothing very uh, very difficult here so for example you can just copy and i'll just show you right so if you go here um, let's go to elastic load balancing 2 version 2 so you'll just get an idea you go here to elastic this thing and just search and paste this so see delete load balancer if you go and just read this function you will get to know that this is the syntax of the function it expects load balancer arn okay and uh, yeah that's all it is so you should be passing that either you pass it as a string or you from a variable you give the value right so uh, that's how it is um, all right, moving forward, after that, I have also uh, deleted all the target groups. So all of you know that in case of um, application load balancer or network load balancer, you have to create target groups. So generally that, you know, target groups will remain there and unnecessary, uh, though it doesn't cost money, but it is just there as such. So I just cleaned that up as well. So that is part of ELB V2, of course, because in case of classic ELB, there was no target group concept, okay? Next is uh, NAT gateways quickly. 
in case of NAT gateways, again, as I told you, all the VPC components come will be will be under part of EC2. So we are creating a client of EC2, and then we said describe NAT gateways. This will basically return all the NAT gateways which are there in that particular region. And then I am looping through, and I am uh, in order to do this function delete NAT gateway, I need to pass the NAT gateway ID. So from here. I would be I'm able to pass ng1 NAT gateway ID. So understand whenever you are doing this, you can look at the signature of that function and you will know that what parameter value you need to pass. Uh, last ones are EC2 and EBS. So in case of EC2, uh, again, I did a client describe instances. Uh, understand that in case of uh, this one, I should show you. So if you actually go ahead and look at EC2, just one minute. If you go and look at EC2, uh, in case of EC2, let me just do describe instances. So this is the function. If you look at this function, as if uh, when you call this function, look look at the result structure here. Okay. So in the result, if you see the first the outer uh, outer array is going to be or the outer set is reservations. Within that, you got instances okay so what i'm trying to say is it depends on on how many instances you had launched in one time so for example if i launching an instance you say four instances together right you remember step number three while launching ec2 instance the step number three you can specify how many instances do you want so for example if you say four instances what would happen all four all those four instances will come within one reservation here okay that's how it works. If you if you want, just try it out. What you do is uh, here is the quick thing. What you can do, you can go ahead and launch two instances together and then one instance separately. So what you will see, you will come, you will see here two reservations. Okay. In first reservation, you'll find two instances. In the second reservation, you'll find one instance. So here, in we we will have to loop through reservations and within that we'll find instances. So in order to do that. What we have done is we are doing for reservation in response reservations and then within that again a loop for instance in reservation instances right so and within that we'll go ahead and do terminate instances and we'll pass the instance id last one is for the ebs volume uh, describe volumes will return all the volumes and then basically we have to pass volume id so we'll just pick uh, you know the volume id from that and we'll do this I hope you are getting uh, an idea. If you want, you can, of course, pause the video and uh, uh, read this wherever you want. So uh, till now, these are the uh, these are the things which I have done. So OK, uh, enough of talking. Let us now try to go ahead and execute it. So uh, as you can see, I'll just refresh. You can see all these things are running. Now we'll go ahead and try to execute and see that it goes through all the regions and actually delete stuff and as you can see i have written a lot of comments so it should uh, you know it should put uh, in the log properly so we'll go ahead and we'll set test it should do the execution now so i'll go and look here in the uh, cloudwatch logs so as you can see the uh, execution has started and here it is going through one by one. So first it is checking the region AP South one, then EU. This is basically, you know, in an in alphabetical order. So in AP South one, EU West, nothing is there. So as you can see, just the comments are coming and then it is just going through. So uh, we have our stuff in uh, Canada Central. I think it is not even in the alphabetical order. Uh, it is just some random. So A, E, and then A is coming later on as well. So it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, we will just go ahead and see when the Canada. So Canada has come. Now let us see uh, what happens. Uh, now you can see in Canada Central, it is deleting ASG Central. So this is the auto scaling group in Canada. So let us go ahead and check. Uh, this is not Virginia. This is Canada. Let us refresh this. As you can see, it is getting deleted. Super. All right. Now further, it has gone. There was no uh, NLB or ALB. There was a classic ALB, which is also deleted. Let us go ahead and check. Yeah, this one. So this is the Canada one, Canada Central. Let us refresh. 
it's gone okay further going ahead it also went and checked for NAT gateway it has deleted the NAT gateway let us go and see uh, this is the Canada one Canada Central it is deleted the North Virginia one is still there good uh, further going next you can also look at the names guys for that matter right so, um, so in this case it is NAT 9a if you see um, this is the one NAT 9a then it went to EC2 instances deleted EC2 instances 1 2 3 4 5 6 it, it will try to call for all uh, uh, that that is happening but then of course after this there won't be any instance remaining that is for sure then it also went to the EBS volumes and uh, it tried to okay so maybe one thing okay it has given an error here now that is a problem okay it tried to actually uh, you know delete a, a volume which was still attached so what would have happened is when these instances started getting terminated before the termination would have happened it, it went ahead and tried to delete the volume so that was a mistake so what I would do is I would actually go ahead and uh, modify uh, this function in such a way that as part of delete right as part of delete EBS volumes it should only delete the volumes which are available right because anything which is in use that would have gone um, that would have gone um, um, with the EC2 instance so those which are available will try to remove them actually even that might not be a very good idea we should filter it in a in a in an even better manner that those which are not root volumes should be uh, should be deleted as part of our this particular delete so I'll try to modify that logic and I will of course share it with you guys again so let us go ahead and see what has happened here is the Canada thing so that's why those two are uh, remaining now because it gave error there and of course I've not done error handling that well uh, let us see Canada Central here all the uh, you know instances are gone because there's nothing running now it's all terminated uh, no problem so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and execute our lambda function once again and this time it should go ahead and uh, just clear up everything from North Virginia region okay so we'll just give it a few minutes uh, in the meanwhile this is North Virginia it is there Canada is gone so clean we'll just close it um, anyway so as you can see it is there here this time it will go and it will actually you know clean this thing right so we'll just give it some time uh, it is getting executed let me go ahead and check it <coughs> I think it will come to this itself yeah all right so it has started executing now um, so we'll just give it we'll see now it is going through south SA South America all right so in uh, Canada Central it is you know because then uh, you know when instances are terminated even then they would be there for an hour roughly so it tries to do that we can of course uh, go ahead and make this better even uh, instead of trying to terminate everything try to terminate only those instances which uh, which have a state not equal to terminated right so we can uh, terminate things which are running stopped or pending or anything else right so we can of course make it better but this doesn't harm us in any way the two volumes which are left they are gone now let us go ahead and check deleted great now further it has gone to other regions now AP Southeast 2 EU Central now comes US East 1 so North Virginia so first it is deleting the auto scaling group great let us go ahead and check the auto scaling group so this one I'll close um, here is the auto scaling group for North Virginia we'll go ahead and refresh it and as you can see it is getting deleted great so because of this uh, if I actually go and check even certain instances would be getting deleted so those three are gone right which were because of the auto scaling group in few seconds we should see that these instances also would go away let us go and check back here so load balancer should go away now 
right uh, load balancer there was this nlb alb so there was one load balancer so that one should go now as you can see this one nvlb it should have been gone gone great uh, also let's look at the target groups here target group is still there let's see why isn't it cleared target groups about to delete this but error ha happened oh it was still in use so it should be done a bit later that was the problem so it gave me error once again so th these are things which you face guys when you are doing it <laughs> all right uh, anyway i think so uh, this part i'll leave so you can see that auto scaling group is gone load balancer is gone these two instances did not go because my uh, lambda function gave error i can just go ahead and execute it once again which should go ahead and clear it all um, as you can see some of the volumes are also gone so these two volumes which are attached to the instance are there and two more available ones are there okay all right so anyway i'll go ahead and uh, i think i'll stop it here so i hope you got some idea that what approach has been taken here and um, um, i will also uh, try to share this code with you guys uh, maybe in few days i'll i'll put the link uh, i'll update the link in the description below uh, it will be there on our blog in few days so i'll just you know go ahead and try to update these few things which we talked about and i also want to include few more few more resources in the script things like elastic ip because elastic ip costs you so we should get uh, rid of all the elastic ips um, uh, i also want to get rid of rds instances and s3 bucket so i want to of course extend this script further and then i'll share it with you guys so i hope uh, you got to understand that what we are talking about here okay so um, please go ahead and try to write your own functions as well uh, look at other videos on our channel okay and if you thought if that this helped you to learn something please share it with some of your friends thank you guys bye bye see you again you are watching this video on knowledge india we request you to subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that you can get updates regarding all our upcoming videos you can also go ahead and look at our playlists where you can find different videos related to certifications if you have any query or request go ahead and post it at the community tab thanks for watching see you